In this video, I'll show you how to disable WooCommerce checkout in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so to disable our WooCommerce checkout, we've got a few options. One, we can password protect our WooCommerce site. I'll leave a link to that video below. Or two, we can actually remove the add to cart button from our WooCommerce store, meaning a user won't actually be able to physically check out. So that's the method we're gonna go with today. So if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the request the quote plugin by WooSuite. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so the second step is just to go ahead and upload the request the quote plugin. So you go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the file in which you just downloaded. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Activate your license key, navigate to add-ons and go ahead and activate the request the quote plugin. Once you've done so, let's go ahead and click on the request the quote plugin. So now we're going to create our first rule. So I'm just going to click this add new rule button. Okay, and then we'll give this rule a name and it's just for internal purposes only. Okay, so I'll just name mine disable add to cart. And then when we scroll down to rule type, so we've got two options. We can enable this option for our guest users, which are logged out users, or we can enable this options for registered users. In this case, I think it makes sense to enable this rule for guest users, which are users logged out of our site. And then we go ahead and set a rule priority here. I'm just gonna select one. So you got the option to enter between one and 10, one being the lowest, 10 being the highest. And then I'm gonna apply this rule to all products. Since we don't want users to add any products to cart, essentially disabling the checkout. Okay, so with regards to the price, so we can choose whether we wanna display the price or not. It's totally up to you. In my case, I'm gonna leave the price. If you wanted to disable it, you just click yes, and that will disable the price. I'm just gonna leave the price as it is. And then as for the add to cart, I'm gonna select replace add to cart with a custom button. So instead of showing the add to cart, we can show users a button such as a custom button, such as um, contact us or download a catalog. It's, it's totally up to you. Or we can just leave it blank. If we leave it blank, it will essentially just hide the add to cart button. Okay, so let's publish this rule. And then let's go ahead and view our store page. So when we refresh this, everything should display as it does. And that's because we created this rule for our guest users. So I'm gonna have to open up a private browser. And now when we check our store as a guest user, we're able to see the products. And when we click on the product page as well, we can see it just fine. We can see the price as well, but we don't actually have the option to check out. Okay, so if we wanted to hide the price, We'll just click um, yes here and let's update this. And now when we refresh this page, the price will be hidden, right? So it's essentially like a catalog mode. So users can still browse all the different products in which you have on offer. If you wanted to just hide all products, you can use our restriction rules plugin and then that will give you the option to just temporarily hide all products or you can password protect your entire e-commerce section of your site. So that's how you disable your WooCommerce checkout in just a few simple steps. So I've given you a few different options. Let me know in the comment section which one you go with or if you go with something totally different, that's absolutely fine as well. And if you enjoy this video as always, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or contact support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.